day was on my mind Welcome back to another DST fitness video today and for the top of today's video you already know what it is I don't have a question I got a topic to talk about to make you guys level the fuck up so let's go ahead and hop into today's video today we're going to be talking about you have to grow through your pain you have to grow through all the things that you go through in your life in order to still reach your goals because if you allow those things that hold you back you will never get anywhere when I was 12 years old, I a lot of, a lot of you guys, a lot of my followers are very young. So a lot of you guys can relate with this. Uh, even if you guys aren't young, watching this at an older age, maybe you can still relate with this. You you may have experienced some of the same exact things that I went through as a young kid. Okay, I got made fun of a lot. Uh, I was I was skinny. All right, so not having the figure that I wanted to have, I got made fun of. I got made fun of for how I talked. All right, I don't talk like it's like a, a stereotypical black person, okay? Whatever the fuck that means, I don't talk like that. All right, I talk how I talk, I talk how I was raised. I got made fun of that. I got made fun of just about everything you could think of that was under the sun. I got bullied for a certain point in my life. There, there was everything that I got made fun of that was like that, that was just under this, this this sun, okay? And I got made fun of it. Um, and most of my life, I didn't really have a strong, strong, strong father figure like a lot of people have to where they can fight this off, where they, they, they can level themselves up. So as time went on, this pain started exemplifying, this pain started radiating throughout my body, throughout everything in my life. And it got to a point where I said enough is enough. And I, I remember at the age of 12, at the age of fucking 12, I made a commitment to my day that to that day, and I said, no matter what, no matter what I go through, I am going to get better. I'm going to level up so that I become somebody that's unrecognizable in the next 12 years. I'm gonna become somebody that nobody can even, nobody even thought I could become in the next 12 years. I'm going to become that person. And as time went on, as life went on, I went through an insurmountable, what the fuck, I can't pronounce that word. I went through a lot of obstacles, okay? I went through a lot of obstacles in my life that were going to deter me off my path, but I said, fuck that, I'm going to get better no matter what. One story that pops into my head right now is I remember when I, I, was, I was really deep into working out, okay? And... Um, this was around my sophomore year of college, all right? And this is when I was, like, starting to really get that bug. And I was like, fuck yeah, this is great. Like, level up, level up, gym, gym, mm, pre-workout, whoo! You know what I'm saying? It was all that. And I, I was feeling great. I was on top of the world. And I remember I was working shifts where I was getting up at 7 o'clock in the morning. Or, excuse me, I was getting up at, like, 6 o'clock in the morning, 5 o'clock in the morning. And I have to get to work by 7 I want to get off of work till about three, and then I would come home. Or I wouldn't come home. I would go straight to the gym after work and be at the gym till like five. Okay, and I remember I'd take pre workout. Some days I would get off of work later, around like honestly like five almost, and I wouldn't go to bed till like one o'clock, two o'clock. All right, now do I recommend that for anybody out there that's like trying to go on the fitness journey and get things started? No, but. I was so dedicated to going to the gym every single day, no matter what, that I don't give a fuck what anybody told me, anybody said, or the situations that I was in to hold me back from reaching my goals. So as I would get off these shifts, I would come home, I would fix something to eat, or I'd have something ready to go with me so I could just eat after work and just go straight to the gym. And I remember thinking like, yo, this fucking sucks. This is terrible. And I said to myself, where am I going with this mindset? How am I getting better with this mindset? How am I truly leveling up with this mindset? Am I enjoying the process even more? Am I becoming better even quicker? Or me telling myself that this sucks, or am I holding myself back even more, okay? And where, where am I going with it? Long story short, I was holding myself back even more. I wasn't progressing forward towards my life like how I wanted to progress forward to. I wasn't reaching the goals like how I wanted to reach my goals. Because my attitude fucking sucked. 
My attitude was terrible. So when I turned all that around, I flipped my mindset, had more of a grateful mindset, and I enjoyed the process. I, I became, I loved how I started feeling tired after work and I knew I still had to go get my workout in. I loved the fact that I didn't have the energy to go and work out. I loved the fact that I had to sleep for maybe five hours, four hours and get up and go to work the next day and rinse, recycle, repeat. I loved all of it. I loved the whole process. It was so much fun to me. And you have got to be the same for yourself as well too. So whatever you're going through, whatever obstacles you have in your life that you feel like are just holding you back from bettering yourself, you have to say, I love it. Thank you for giving me these obstacles and choose to level up from it. Choose to grow from it because when you take that perspective, you can accomplish anything in your life. That will conclude today's video. Fucking love all of you guys. Comment, like, subscribe. Y'all know the drill to your mama, to your dad, to your cat. And I'll see you guys in the next video.